What's up? I am back with another mother freaking video, y'all. And I'm just gonna talk my shit because I put on makeup today and I was like, there is no way I'm gonna get this makeup to go to waste. Like, come on now. I should have done this video like since this morning. But your girl, see what happened was today's Sunday, so me and my mother in law were cooking. Then I ate the food. Then I cleaned the kitchen. And then guess what? I went to sleep. Y'all know that you got that good, good food when you fall asleep, okay, honey? That nigga right is hit you like. Hmm. Ooh, wow. Hey, y'all. Hey. Let's just talk. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Boy, if you don't get. Y'all heard that run? Eh. Eh. Okay, I'm so fucking weird. Okay, y'all, so. A lot of shit has been on my mind. I'm not even, I'm like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, okay, so, I had a friend or whatever. And the same friend, I think I talked about this friend. The same friend that snaked me when I got too litty with the Henny. Y'all don't know about that story time. I'll link it in the comments down below or it's popping up somewhere. But yeah, that friend, so she just had a baby um, a couple weeks ago. Like, okay, so let me tell you about this girl. So she, I'm not to tell y'all her business, but she's been really, 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 really wanting a boy, a baby for the longest, for the longest. So she was with this dude that was friends with my man, like my husband. I was about to say my ex. She was friends, she was dating my man's friend. And they were together for a very long time. They were together for probably as long as my husband and I were together. But they were like on and off all the time. Like, they were toxic as fuck. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, they were really, really toxic. And she said that she saw this lady and this lady told her that he was like the love of her life and they were meant to be together and she was gonna be with him and have three kids with him. Psychic. I have a bit sense. What do you mean? It's like I have ESPN or something. So knowing that, you know, her past um uh, of her really, really wanting a child. She stayed with this man because she had it in her head that this fortune teller voodoo lady <laughs> Whatever she was came to her and told her like predicted her future saying oh you're gonna have a kid with him and he, you're gonna have this big family and so basically the woman told her that she was going to have three kids with him, three boys, and she held on to that. She's like, okay, well, I know that he doesn't really treat me right, but, you know, in the end, it'll be worth it. So that's what she had in her head. And I was literally looking at the girl like, boo, like, you got to leave his ass. You got to leave him. But, like, I really think she had it in her head, like, he was going to be her happily ever after and give her that dream life that she wanted. But it just didn't happen like that. She stayed with this guy for so, 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 so long. And then something like really drastic happened and that, like she called it quits. Now that she called it quits and has a new boo, like I don't even think they've been together for two years yet. And already she has a baby. Oh, look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. So it's like, she spent all that time listening to that voodoo fortune teller lady. The one I just told her like, oh yeah, 
you're gonna have a kid with this dude and she stuck it out for nothing now I say that to say this so y'all y'all know how bad I want a child like I'm 30 now like I should have been had that child so I remember there was a time when my mother-in-law she has like she's really spiritual like yeah so she tells me like that I'm gonna have a child soon with my husband bro I've been with my husband next year will be 10 years I'm just like if it was meant to happen it would have happened by now so I'm like okay well maybe I'm like thinking like maybe I'm my friend now that's holding out thinking that something's gonna happen when it's really not so I'm just like now I'm like should I keep waiting or should I just call it quits and find somebody else like I don't know but then if I do find somebody else it's not even guaranteed that I'm having a kid with them and I don't even want to go through the whole dating get to know you phase boo type thing like I don't even like I'm too old for that I'm 30 now like like I don't want to go through the whole get to know you phase like what's your favorite color what's your middle name let me meet your parents da -da 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 -da. yeah it also has me like I like I, I don't know like I like and now back to your regularly scheduled program y'all I just I, I don't even want y'all all up on my business like that but y'all we family now so y'all need to like help me in the comments like what would you do because like I do love my husband and everything but this is taking too damn long like it's taking way too fucking long you get what I'm saying like I just feel like not like this was like a whole waste of time because we did have to go through the whole COVID thing. Maybe that's it too. Because, yo, I really thought that I was going to get pregnant through COVID. Like, we had nothing but time. But I didn't because it wasn't giving. Like, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to get. So that didn't even freaking happen. I'm annoyed. Very annoyed like especially like y'all and I tweeted something like literally just now let me read it y'all follow me on Twitter anyways it's called it's versus world follow me okay so I'd be like it be bitches that be fucking and sucking everybody and everybody mad and I oh why they got a nigga yet they be pregnant with babies every time you motherfucking sneeze <laughs> yeah you got women like me with one man being faithful and nothing but motherfucking negative pregnancy deaths. Like, how, God? How? How? Like, how was that fair? I don't understand. Like, you got these unfaithful ass, hoeing ass bitches that be pregnant every fucking second, you, every minute you sneeze. Yet, you got good girls that be faithful. I just wanna know. I just wanna know they're not gonna know I just want to know <laughs> y'all I play too much but yeah that's that's my rant cuz I'm sick of it I'm tired I am tired of the bullshit like yeah I feel like I have bad luck or something like I don't know like I don't even fucking understand and then I was like, I was even telling my husband, like, babe, you need to go to the doctors or something. Like, you need to check out your little swimmers. Like, because I'm like, maybe you only have one and done sperm. Like, maybe, like, he's only meant to have one child and that's it. Like, if it is, like, just let me know. Then I was even like, do you even want more kids? Like, it, it's been nine years. That's a long motherfucking time. So, yeah. Y'all let me know comments down below. I know that was a lot, but I don't even know if I want to put this out. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant. Leave a comment down below. Anything, something, advice, encouraging words. Cuss me the fuck out if you want. I don't care. But um, yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna like some of my comments. 
Y'all already know what the f this is. Your girl Fanny. I'm a mother speaking world. Enjoy your Sunday fun day, beach. I don't see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Hot gala, hot gala, sweet like a.